cystic hygroma. A cystic hygroma is a collection of fluid filled sacs that results from a malformation in the lymphatic system. A cystic hygroma is also known as a lymphatic malformation or lymphangiomas. So we can use interchangeably as lymphangiomas, lymphatic malformation, or cystic hygroma, any of them. The incidence is around 1 in 12,000 births, and around 50 to 65% appear at the birth, and around 85 to 90% appear by age of 2. So only 10 to 50% appear after the age of 2. The most common location of cystic hygroma is as the neck, which is responsible for 75%. The rest is around the axilla, and it can be also seen in mediastinum, retroperitoneum, pelvis, or groin. Nucal or post cervical cystic hygromas have been associated with chromosomal abnormalities, so they are at risk of having high mortality rate. Cystic hygroma or lymphangioma may also be classified into categories. Uh, the first one is microcystic, which is lymphatic structure with diameter more than 2 cm, and the second one is microcystic, which is lymphatic structure with diameter less than 2 cm, and the third one is mixed. WHO recognizes three types of lymphangiomas, capillary, cavernous, and cystic. The first term, or capillary, refers to, or it is a synonym for microcystic lymphangioma, and the second term, cavernous and cystic, stands for macrocystic lymphangiomas. Cystic hygroma are thought to arise from the following sequestration of lymphatic tissue from lymphatic sacs during the development or failure of this tissue to communicate with the lymphatic or venous system and the tissue dilation resulting in the cystic morphology. These lymphatic crests can penetrate adjacent structures or dissect along fascial planes and eventually become canalized. These spaces retain their secretion and develop cystic components given the lack of venous outflow tract. The nature of the surrounding tissue determines whether the lymphangioma is capillary, cavernous, or cystic. In addition to congenital development, cystic agroma can be acquired. They can arise from trauma, including surgery, inflammation, or lymphatic drainage pathway obstruction. Karyotypic abnormalities are present in 25 to 70% of children with lymphatic malformation or cystic agroma. Cystic agroma tends to be more common in patients with Turner syndrome, Down syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, and trisomy 80 as well as 30. Those are not considered to be causative, so it is considered to be an association. And intrauterine alcohol exposure has been associated with the development of lymphatic malformation. For a lot of cystic hygroma, the causative agent is not found. When we see the complication of cystic hygroma, cystic hygroma can cause airway obstruction or mass effect on the airway, hemorrhage infection and the deformation of surrounding bony craniofacial structures or dentation if a cystic agroma is left untreated. There are a lot of differential diagnoses such as brachial cleft cyst, mucosal ranulo, pediatric teratomas and other germicell tumors, thyroglossal duct cyst and thyroid goiter can be differential diagnoses, but we can differentiate them based on our history, physical examination and investigation. On physical examination, cystic agroma is a soft, painless, comprehensible mass that usually transluminates. Ultrasound of the lesion usually features multistic lesion with internal septations and no blood flow is detected on color Doppler ultrasonography. Other modalities like CT and MRI can be employed to delineate the lesion in a better way. When we see the treatment, Treatment depends on the size, location, symptoms, and the complication. First, an infected cystic agroma should be treated with intravenous antibiotics, and some patients require emergency surgery due to airway obstruction, and the best treatment is complete excision. Otherwise, aspiration typically is not effective due to the rapid refilling of the flu. So, if we treat only by aspiration and drainage, it refills immediately. So the best treatment is complete excision. Regarding prognosis, 
the reported mortality has been as high as 2 to 6% usually secondary to pneumonia bronchitis or airway compromise as would be expected morbidity depends on the anatomical location of the cystic hygroma in general morbidity is related to cosmetic disfiguring after surgical intervention and impingement on other critical structures such as nervous vessels and laryngotracheal complexes unlike hemangiomas cystic hygroma or lymphangioma do not commonly resolve spontaneously the recurrence is rare when all gross disease is removed and if residual tissue is left behind the expected recurrence rate is approximately 50 percent in antenatal cystic hygroma diagnosis after 30 weeks of gestation is considered a positive prognostic sign if it is diagnosed before 30 weeks, it is a poor prognostic sign. Thank you for watching.